Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Senza Tempo Cane Corso. So I wanted to do a little update for you guys um, on what's going on here. Um, right now we are treating Mad Mortigan. I think that he tried to be a man with um, with uh, Mona, um, otherwise known as Imola, um, and she tagged him on top of the head. And at first I thought it would be fine. It looked, you know, a little gross, but I just cleaned it out and thought it would be all right. But um, I came out and it looks like it's festering a bit. So um, what I did is I gave him a bath with a good antibacterial, antifungal shampoo. Let it sit on him for 10 minutes. And then I went to Tractor Supply and I got some of this stuff right here. It's purple. It's what's on me right now. Um, it's a spray. They, it also comes in... Um, lotion. It also comes in this right here. Um, the horse is out. Huh? The horse is out. Oh, walking around or like out, out? It's walking around. Okay. So anyway, so we went ahead and we sprayed that on him. Now he's not liking it right now. Um, ah, ah, oh, all right. Well, that's one way to do it or not do it for that matter um anyway so i have to i'm gonna have to keep an eye on him now because of this uh because i have to monitor the healing and so even though i'm not trying to have any dogs in the house um he's gonna have to be in just because i have to monitor him um otherwise he's you know he's good to go he's fine i do have antibiotics on hand that i'm also going to give him um, we'll just do a quick round just to make sure that, that it's over and done with pretty quickly. Um, if for any reason it wasn't to respond to this, uh, then I would try something that's like an antifungal type situation. But I do believe that it's a simple bacterial thing and I think we're going to be good um, with what we're doing here. But I'll make sure to update you guys on the progress on that. But for now, I'm just holding on to him because I want him to forget about his head. Um, so, Do you want to take him inside? Huh? Do you want to take him inside? Um, yeah, yeah, we can show. Yeah. So, also, um, I'll have to show you guys. We got... Can you... Okay, never mind. Um, so, the misting... I'm going to go around. The misting system that we purchased was Ryobi and in classic Ryobi fashion it sucked and um, it keeps that's what the tape on there is for it keeps um, it keeps uh, it was supposed to try to keep those the pieces of hose from coming apart and unfortunately um, it just wouldn't what the heck it just wouldn't work Great, pick her up what on earth Well, so, um, let's see here. Okay. Alrighty, so, this is where we're at on the house. Um, if you are a Patreon member, you would already know that I've already, um, put an offer down on another house in Virginia and my offer was accepted um, not only was my offer accepted but due to the fact that I am selling my house and moving I also um, s organized the deal to where um, nobody can come in and make an offer behind me so they've accepted my offer and they've ex and they've agreed not to entertain any other offers um, so as long as I do what I need to do, which I'm going to do, um, then it's, it's my house. Um, there's already, watch her Savannah, don't there's, have her right there. Um, there's, there's already been, um, an inspection done. Um, we're going to have our own, but you know, we already pretty much know what's going on. And so, um, and we've already kind of worked out those details as far as, um, as far as what that entails um, fixing. So aside from that, um, this is what we've done 
Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but this is all the original flooring. The reason why I did that flooring was because of this spot right here, uh, which sucks, but is the way it is. Um, so this right here is the flooring that I'm installing right now. Um, so this, um, this tile situation here, um, this was Savannah's room. Um, we need to, I've got my printer set up because I've still had to do paperwork and stuff like that. So, uh, and then this was the kennel room, which I like. Uh, um, and, um, yeah. Okay, so this was the kennel room. Um, and it's, it's complete. Um, watch out. Move. Scoochie, scoochie. We still have some cleanup to do out there. Um, but it's not so bad. Um, but yeah, we still have a little bit of cleanup to do, but other than that, man, um, we're almost there. We upgraded the lighting, which they may or may not like, but I hated the lighting that was in here. Watch out. So we still got to pack up. Still got, you know what I mean? Still got to do some packing, but oh, sorry. oh my God. But anyway, but overall we're good. So just wanted to show you guys and kind of um, keep you guys up to date on our progress. Ultimately, as long as, um, as long as everything goes as, as planned, yeah, I will be out of this house in, I believe my move in date in at the other house is going to be on July 9th. So I'll be, um, Savannah, can you go check on the dogs, please? I will be um, leaving here either on the 7th um, or the 8th. Don't quiet down. Um, depending. So, yeah, either the 7th or the 8th because it's going to take us a while to get down there. If we made really good time, I would say it's two days of driving. But I bet you that with the dogs and having to take potty breaks and blah, 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 that it's probably going to be longer. Uh, as far as transportation, how are we going to do it? What we're going to do is um, Reese's brother is going to drive down here. Huh? I think um, potentially even brothers, actually, I think. So one of them is going to drive a U-Haul. The other one is going to drive a minivan. And then I will drive my vehicle. And so we'll put all of the boxes and everything like that in the... Um, that'll all be in the U-Haul. And then the van... Which is going to be like one of those big van. No, I don't think it's going to be a minivan. I th think we're going to we're going to go to Ryder, and we're going to get like one of those tall like cargo vans. So and we're going to kennel the dogs for that, like for transport. And so, hopefully, that will give me enough um, space for my chickens because. Because I am bringing my chickens. I may not bring them all. It just depends. Um, if the new um, owners want to have some chickens or not. So, totally up to them. So anyway, I guess that's it. That covers just about everything we've got going on right now. So, Savannah and I are fixing to go take these boxes to our storage shed. And then just keep working. But ultimately, everything in this kitchen, all these cabinets are empty. There's really nothing else in here. And so, can you get onto them? And so, anyway. Um, so, yeah. All I have left to do is really just pack up. 
my room, which really is really not, not much in my room, my closet, my bathroom, your bathroom. No, I've already packed up my bathroom. Well, I saw stuff in there. Okay. Anyway, <sighs> you guys, it's so surreal. So, um, like I said, all my Patreon members have already gotten to see the house as far as a picture. I posted a picture of the house, but those of you that are not, um, I will be traveling. Oh, I'm going to fly up to Virginia to go and take a look at the house and just do like a walkthrough and stuff since I haven't gotten to see it yet. And that's another thing is like, I've only gotten to see it on video. Reese um, did, um, she went and um, did a video call with me, but it'll be my first time actually seeing the house. They're mad about the horse, he's rolling on the ground playing. Oh, okay. He's just rolling and just- Savannah loves that horse, you guys. She's so attached to that horse. Oh yeah, I see him. Like, so attached to that horse. She wanted him. She wanted. She literally wanted me to ask the neighbors to buy the horse. And I was like, heck no. So let's go get that horse. The other horse like, we had is gone. Yeah, I think so, it died. I think she was like, she had a tumor or something. I think she died. Yeah. Anyway, well. He's, he's chill. I yeah, he's just laying there. Anyway, well, I hope you guys are having a good day. Oh, no, now he's getting up. Yeah, he's, he's just chillaxing. Maybe it's too hot today. It's really hot today. Oh, he just got up. I'll show you guys the horse. I don't know if you can see him, but boom. He's going to lay back down. Yep. Come on, I almost got it. Oh, man. I'm so close to this. I will say that I could have probably had a horse here, but it would have been really hard to put in the fencing. A lot of people used to question me why we didn't just fence the property off. But all I can tell you is that what it cost me to fence just that small backyard that I have was like $3,000. If I would have fenced off my whole property, I mean, we're talking like probably, what, like, let me see, three, six, Probably like close to fifty thousand dollars, like something like that. It would have been something ridiculous. Do you think he's too hot right now? Do you think it's just so hot out here? He's just like laying on the ground. I think he's just chillaxing. I think. Chillaxing. I think horses do chillax. So um, anyway, but it's gonna be really nice to be able to move somewhere where it's already set up for horses, because Savannah and I have really we've talked about it, and we we are gonna get some horses. So. And we know there are a lot of money. It's the first thing everybody says, well, are there a lot of money? I know. I've been hearing that my entire life. I've been a, a, a horse lover my entire life, and people always tell me that. And I'm like, okay. And I've done, like, research. So I know. Oh, my God. He's, like, on his back right now. So I know what the costs are, and I'm fully prepared for that. Um so you guys got, got anyway well, i'm gonna let y'all go we got to get to work the day has just been wasting away over here um we got to get these boxes moving so hope you guys are having a good day talk to you later bye, bye.